And I think I'm watching him, watching him. And in my head, I paint a picture. But since you've come on home, well, my body's been a mess. And I miss the tender hair and the way you like to dress. Won't you come on over? Stop making a fool out of me. Why don't you come on over? Good morning. Hi, Marsha. I love you back. Good morning. Well, sometimes I go out by myself. Good morning, everybody. The force is big with that one. Good morning. Something is itching me in this sweater. It's getting on my nerves. Good morning. Good morning. Well, hi Wes. Well, yesterday I went to my office for the first time and I hated it. So I'm here back at my house. Um, good morning everybody and welcome to Coffee Talk. Thank you, Busy Bay. Busy Bay. Oh, my kids are fighting. I, I might die of shock. Oh, Taffy said, I was just listening to your podcast. Thank you, Taffy. Taffy, Taffy. Finally got my necklace. I love it. Thank you. Hi, Jess. I just, um, Mary, it's already so hot out. Mary. So Mary, my best friend Mary in New Jersey got a one of my fanny packs because I'm telling you, I need to be hands-free when I walk. I can't get a good walk in when I'm holding my phone. I don't know why, but I just can't. Y'all, it, it has a little pouch for your head, your AirPods. Boop. You put that sucker right in there. It has... A thing here, I don't know, if you want to put a water bottle, some hand sanitizer. Listen, when it's waterproof and it is stretchy. Y'all told me, y'all thought I was playing. It's waterproof, you could walk in a hurricane. Jersey people, where you at? Why a sweater in the middle of summer? So I don't have to hear people's uh, mouths about my nipples. Thank you very much. Um... And sometimes I just wear my fanny pack across my boobs. Because I'm cool like that. I'm peace like that. I'm fat like that. I'm out like that. Okay? Amanda, I knew you were going to like today's topic. I'm talking to you. Shout out to Captain Lee from... Uh... Oh, this sweater is from Target, Carrie. Shout out to Captain Lee from Below Deck, who shared uh, the link for my podcast. Um, I love Captain Lee so much. The nipples are strong with this one. Um, this is on my website, uh, stateofstylejewelry.com. I'm telling y'all, I only sell stuff. I sell the most random shit because I only sell what I use. Stateofstylejewelry.com. It's $25. It is indestructible. Okay? Indestructible. Um, the little port for the headphones. Y'all, do you see this? If you don't have AirPods, there is a little hole for your earphones. So you can put your phone in here, put your headphones through that little hole. You're on your way. Do -do 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 -do. Guys, it is indestructible. And it's waterproof. I'm telling you, I love it. But I love fanny packs. I'm the queen of hands-free right now. I am the queen of hands-free right now with coronavirus. Hands-free. 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 I'm a raver. I'm a raver. I'm a raver. Just kidding. I'm not a raver. Hi, 6 9 Um. Okay. So, no, Captain Lee has asked me to be on Below Deck. I am not a boat person, y'all. I love Captain Lee, but no, thank you. 
I am not a boat person. He knows that. Um, okay. So we need to have a talk about... The notion that if you are giving your all, it means you are doing your all, doing it all. I legit. Okay, ready? My name is Jamie and I cannot do it all. I just cannot do it all. And I have grossly mistaken the notion that in order to be giving it my all, I have to be doing it all. And I am here to tell you, take it from your friend who had an actual emotional breakdown at the beach. I know y'all saw me crying. An actual emotional breakdown. What, what could be so important right now that you need to wait for me to be doing coffee talk? This better be so life changing. You better be telling me you just discovered the cure for COVID right now. Whatever you are about to say, Lord Jesus, let my nine-year-old be telling me something that is going to... I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down, tumbling, tumbling down. I feel, I feel the earth. What are you about to say, Lord? So when I was doing the backflip... Gymnastics. Really? You're about to tell me something? No, on the ground, I, I, I like went like in the sky and I couldn't flip over and my wrist went like that on oh the ground my and that saved my fall like that and it really... It hurts? Okay. So like, just, so stop trying, doing this. No, it hurts when I like set it down on something. Okay, well I don't set it, it like, down on anything. Hold it in the air, girl. Let Jesus heal it. Hold it up to no, the sky. No, because I heard it like... Hold it up to the sky. Little, make a Hold noise, it up to the sky. It it's really it's straight. You're, you're, you are so straight. You have no idea. You are good. It hurts. Okay, well, stop twisting it and squeezing it. You're good. Yeah, but that makes it feel better. Okay. It just looks like that. All right, well, just raise it up to the sky. Let Jesus touch it. Jesus can't touch it if you rest it on the counter. Y'all, if any of you fell for that, no soup for you. No, cause, cause Charlie will wait 16 days and be like, do you remember when I was four? My shit hurts now. Okay, you're all right. You're all right, baby. Get back in there. Get back in the game of life. Jesus can't fix it if you don't hold it up to the sky. Hold it up. Hold it up. Let Jesus touch it. Right now, there's someone in my comments like, oh my God, Bro blow your kid off. What if her wrist is broken? Um, anyway, what I was trying to tell y'all is that I realized that you can still give your all and not try to do it all. Okay. You can give your all to the few things that you are doing and be fine with that. I don't care if you give your all to one thing, to one thing. You are not required to do it all. That is not a requirement. We are not required to do it all. Michael and I have to make a decision uh, about sending our kids back to school today. The decision has to be made. We cannot put it off any longer. So I am gonna speak to Dr. David and I just wanna tell you whatever how did you decide to have kids? I'm 29 and I'm, I got pregnant, girl. <laughs> I got pregnant. That's how I decided to have kids. I got the pregnants. I caught the pregnancy, girl. I caught it. <coughs> I didn't decide to have kids. I just caught the pregnancy. Jen Bird, I'm giving my all and doing it all and it's too much. Guys, guys, this is what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to tell you is take it from your friend Jamie, who is so wrinkly 
and old looking and tired and haggard and literally hit her knees on Wednesday of last week and cried harder than she has cried in a long time. I was trying to be too many things to too many people, do too many things for too many people. I was trying to give my all to, to all the things and y'all, I buckled. I literally buckled. My knees collapsed and sometimes God will collapse your knees to bring you to your knees, okay? And I'm just, oh Nan, I love you, my baby girl. And I know that sometimes, okay, so if you don't believe in God, message still applies. You are not required to do it all to give your all. You can give your all to the few things that you want to do. And if you don't get to everything on your list today, guess what? There's always tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. I can't do all this shit today. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't do all this shit today. Jazz hands. That's it. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. So, a lot of you are in the same boat with me. You're in the same boat with a lot of your friends. Waiting for the day your ship will come in and the tide's gonna turn and it's all gonna roll your way. Hey! Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Keep your day job. Shit, I will. Don't worry. Uh, you're in the same boat as a lot of your friends. Waiting for the day. Your ship will come in. I'm telling you, I get it. The tide's going to turn. And it's all going to roll your way. You're trying to make a decision about taking your kids back to school or not. I get it. Lord Jesus, I want my kids to be socialized, but I don't want my kids to have POCD or whatever, COPD lungs. Lord I don't know what the right answer is, Lord. And I keep talking to Jesus, and if I don't laugh, I'll cry. Period. If I don't laugh, I'll cry. So I gotta laugh and just be like, Lord, I'm not sure what you want me to do. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Lick it nice, lick it good. Figure out if my kids should go to school. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> yes, prayers for all the parents, the kids, the administrators, teachers, staff, janitors. I don't know. Um. Yes, Dawn, I agree with you. So here's the thing. My kids go to a private Catholic school. We are not getting a staggered option. We are not getting a go Tuesday, Thursday, go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, go blah, blah, blah. <sighs> okay. We are going all, okay. We are going all the days. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. I have no fucking clue what to do about school. Days of the week. That's where I'm at. And so I just decided. I just decided. That. I can't do it all. So I'm just going to give my all to a couple of things I can do. And one of the things I can do is sing for you. Is online an option? Sort of. Online is an option if you choose an entire semester. And like, I don't know if that's the right answer. I don't know. So I'm going to call Dr. David and I'm going to talk to him. And I'm going to say... 
tell me. Who's the one you call Dr. Feel Good? He's the one that makes it all right. I don't know. Get them some really cool masks. I did. I got them some really cool masks. I'm thinking about sending them and seeing how they feel. Here's what I said to Michael. Why don't we send our kids with great masks and hand sanitizer and all the things and see how they feel. If they feel safe and they feel like school is controlled and they can learn and they're comfortable with their environment, then we'll let them keep going. If they come home and they're like, this shit is crazy, it's weird, I don't like it, I don't feel safe, then we take them out. Okay, six, nine. I almost think it's better that you guys got no choice because giving parents the choice, it's like Sophie's choice. That's how I feel on Meryl Streep. Not really, but that, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. You have the podcast. Please tell me what to do. Girl, this is one I cannot. Um, so I don't know yet, y'all. I just don't know yet. But I have to decide today. So if you come back online and my hair is gray and it's all fallen out, then you will know why, because I have to choose today. So what is the lesson today? You do not have to do it all. to be giving your all. I give my all to have just one more day in school. I'd risk my life to feel your body. My nails are, um, um, homeschooling. Yes, we are exploring that. Michael and I are exploring it. We are. We're speaking to teachers to see if we can find someone who wants to teach our kids in school. My kids wear their mask 30 minutes a day while they read every day. Every day. They're getting used to wearing a mask but I will not shame anyone for any decision they make because some parents have to send their kids back to school. They have no choice. So if you have to do that, um, Sarah, I love you. I just call to say I love you. Anyway, I just needed to tell y'all that after the one thing I learned after my emotional breakdown is that to give my all, I don't have to be doing it all. I just don't. That does not mean anything. Um, you said you can't find it on my site. Just click on shop and then click on sideways cross or whatever, Jamie's cross or whatever, and it's right there. I promise. Go to the menu, then shop, then cross. Um, I'm not shaming anybody. Absolutely not. I don't care. I might send my kids to school like this. Good morning, everybody. I'm in the same boat, send or not send. Nobody knows. Kids hold the virus in their noses and can bring it right on home. Yes, we are aware. I mean, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Um, Stephanie, yes, you can. Um... I will tell y'all that I will tell y'all that I believe God brought me to my knees on Wednesday because I was not spending enough time on my knees and don't make any blowjob jokes right now. Truly. 
uh, sometimes God will humble the shit out of you. Um, Nan, I know you have to teach and it, you are, you and Jeff have to teach and you have to send your kids back. Um, I don't, um, I don't, uh, think that praying to God is going to keep us safe from COVID. I mean, that's just me personally. I don't have faith that we won't get the virus. I do not. If you do, you are different than me. Um, but I still don't know what I'm going to do. But yes, uh, God will humble the shit out of you. And I mean humble. He will push you down a damn flight of stairs. Oh, you think you could do this without me? Okay, gray-haired, old-ass looking lady, looking like some dried-ass fruit, looking like a dried apricot, too much sun-ass, big head-ass. Thinking you know what to do. Tell me what to do. Everybody listen to my podcast ass. Getting on coffee talk every day. Trying to pour into other people ass. Push me down a damn flight of stairs. Okay, Lord. <laughs> um, I've learned you have to stop living in fear. Listen. I, for all of you, I love it. The ones of you who have gotten to a place where you're like, fuck COVID. I ain't scared. Oh, my God. I am in awe of you. I love it. Love it. <laughs> I ain't scared of COVID shit. I'm not living in fear. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm scared, Lord. I'm scared. Lord. I don't live in fear about a lot of things. I'm not like the girl that walks around like living in fear, but I am afraid of this virus. My husband is 57, I think. And, you know, he had heart surgery and... I don't know. He's not a spring chicken, and I, it makes me nervous. It does. My life doesn't work without Michael Sullivan. Y'all want to hear the cutest thing? Anytime I pass Michael Sullivan on the road, I get so excited, like I am seeing him for the first time. Yesterday, I was taking Olivia to soccer practice, and Michael was coming back on the highway and I was like, oh my God, there's your dad, Michael, Mike, Mike, Michael, I'm honking, Michael. Olivia was like, oh my God, get a life, loser. I was like, what? I was happy to see him. She was like, ew, you're married to him. Get like, get a life. And then I was like, I have a life. You are my life. I love you. And then this morning, I was driving back from dropping Knox off and getting my coffee. And Michael was taking Max to soccer camp. And I passed them again. And I was like, ah, ah, Michael. <laughs> I love him. Anyways, any who's. I just thought it was cute because I realized I love him. I love him, I love him, and where he goes, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. He'll always be my true love, my true love, my true love. From now until forever, 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 I will follow him. I followed him to Alabama, y'all. Follow him wherever he may go. All right. Let me just bring it back around. Okay. Yes, Michael did go to Chicago, yes. Okay. Um, remember, you, <laughs> Allison goes, I flash my lights. I'm telling you, y'all, I gotta take this off. I'm too hot. If you see my nipple through this dress, stop looking so damn hard, okay? Okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the pressure off women. If you don't like my nipples through my clothes, 
stop looking so hard, okay? It's not women's responsibility how you look with your eyeballs. Look less clearly, okay? Don't look so clearly. Don't be coming at me with your 20-20 vision ass, okay? I need you to have 80-20 vision, okay? That's, you need to control your vision. I don't need to control my outfit, okay? Um, Freehold is a mess. Yes, I have heard. I have been getting text messages all morning from my sweet friends in Freehold. Nobody has power, my loves. Um, anyway, all right. I love you guys very much. I really do. And I love you. I hope you have a beautiful Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Or is it Tuesday? It's Wednesday. I love you. And I hope that you have a great, great day.